was your great opportunity, wasn't it, Mr. Durant? All right. Yes, it was my opportunity, and I took it. Thousands of people laughed and watched and applauded. It was a greater performance than Heidemann ever gave. If you don't take it, Mason, I warn you, Addicts is a very powerful man. I would no more think of crossing him myself than... Then why is he afraid to talk to me? I'm sorry, Mr. Hershey, but I came out here to see Mr. Addicts. Mrs. Wilmot, the Jarrah's brothers have a considerable investment in their business. A prolonged delay keeping their place closed could put them in a very difficult financial situation. Delighted to hear it. You're very frank, aren't you? There's a bond between us, Norma. You both loved him, then hated him, and wished him dead. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Come now, you can do better than that. Mr. Norland? For an hour, I've been pacing up and down in front of your building, Mr. Mason, like a picket without a signboard. But I can't decide whether coming here makes me a double-crosser or a knight on a white Mustang. Was she alive? I didn't see her. The coroner said Irene Wallace died between 9 and 11.30. If you were there at 10.30, you must have seen her. Now, was she alive or dead? Dead? That's why you came to my office that following morning. Well, I did want to find my uncle. Well, what is all this? Look, uh, Mr. Breger, if it's legal ethics for me to say anything, I told the truth in there about what I saw at Cullen's house and so did that Golding guy. Well, it sure wasn't time for anybody else to be galloping back and forth around there, so whatever this guy says... I'm not suggesting anything so complicated. I never even saw one. Are you sure now, Chuck? We were given to understand that you asked Gus for a gun. To kill rattlesnakes. Gus bought you a German pistol. I'm sorry, Mr. Mason, but that isn't so. Why would I ask Mr. Dogman for a gun if I already had one? Why, indeed. You did. He's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hartley Bassett, isn't it? Sure. You see, honey, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Somebody beat me to it. your honor would you mind that the murderer took this particular item a small notebook for mr arthur's body while cal leonard lay unconscious on the ground thank you mr Burke. 